What's up, friends? Sleep when I was daily vlogging was actually one of the biggest like issues. There were numerous days when I'd get three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, and it just wasn't enough, and that was the thing that made it highly unsustainable for me. <laughs> Have a confession to make. I miss daily vlogging. I miss it so bad. I've been watching Maddie's daily vlogs, and I'm just like, oh my goodness. I know that feeling, you know? Someone did just bring up the point that Maddie's got some help, he's got an editor, and now he's got like logistics manager, which is true, but still, I miss it. I miss you, I miss constant daily interaction with you, and I wanted to tell you that. Confession time. So I'm making this video. I'm out here shooting some other videos for next week, because I'm going on vacation. Fun fact, I saw Lizzie do like a laying down in the, in the frame shot the other day in her video. It's like, I wonder if I can pull off a laying down in the frame shot. Let me know. If you're having a hard time vlogging in public, just carry one of these around with you. You feel two times more confident just carrying this. So now, even though I'm not daily vlogging, there's still this issue of the kids don't go to sleep until like 8.30 normally. So by that time, I can't go to sleep at nine o'clock because I want to spend time like watch some TV with Amber or just hang out or whatever. But then the girls wake up at 5.45. And I'm just exhausted and Amber's exhausted and it's just a tough, it's a tough life stage. I'm like, I need seven and a half hours of sleep. And like, sleep is super important. Look at this article on WebMD. The results published in 2007 shows that those who cut their sleep from seven to five hours or fewer a night nearly doubled their risk of death from all causes. That is important stuff. Like, we need to be getting more sleep. Thing is, answer was right under our nose this entire time. But like, for some reason in American culture, it just doesn't, it stopped. We stop in like preschool, it's naps, man. We gotta take a siesta from 12.30 to two every day, six hours a night, hour and a half in the day, seven and a half, we're living. Look at this. They're doing it in China, they're doing it in Spain. We did it in Honduras, I just got back from Honduras, I was taking naps every day there, I love it. Absolutely love it. Some of you might not be able to do this because of your work situation, but I would encourage you to just ask, like, can we sleep in the middle of the day and either work earlier, go to bed at 11, wake up at, at five. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can start work as early as you want or work a little bit later, whatever you wanna do. I'm saying sleep's very important, time in the morning's very important, time at night's very important, how do you do it all? Answer was always there and I'm starting it. If you wanna take the siesta challenge with me, hashtag siesta challenge Cody with I'm with Cody on the siesta challenge on Instagram. See ya. I just ended, <laughs> I just ended this video, which is being released first, in the same spot that I ended another video. I better end this video somewhere else. How are you? Ready for daddy. Yeah? I am. Oh. Puppy. Here's a puppy? Yeah. I was just talking to the vlog about our sleep situation and how I'm gonna fix it with the siesta. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about me going daily vlogging again? Oh no. <laughs> I knew this I'm, day not, would come. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. So Cody just sent me this video and I have to watch it right now. I had no time to prepare. That's why my hair is done up like a like a lazy ballerina. Yeah, you totally pulled it off. What are you talking about? All you have to do is lie down. Great job, Cody. I love the lying down shot. <laughs>